Hello, assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today we are back with another tutorial on Hackintosh. So I've been having a regular questions on how to get your Ethernet working with the your Hackintosh. So right now you can see my both Ethernets are working and I'm using an Intel Ethernet which is some sort of Ethernet related to uh, Intel and the other one is Killer and that's Coulomb Con Torres killer e five PC Express Gigabyte Internet. Okay, so leave this aside and how we'll get the boot thinking working. So we have to get our Ethernet working and there are plenty of plenty of different motherboards out there with a lot of different Ethernet ports. And for me, I have been using the seven generation, eight generation motherboards, eight hundred or what you can say seven, eight, nine, and then hundred and two hundred series of motherboards and all of these motherboard have compatible ethernet ports on them which work for hackintosh so if you have anything with 8 9 and 100 and 200 series and even 300 series of motherboard then you should feel easy and feel light that there is a compatible drivers and text there for your hackintosh motherboard so what you have to do to get that working so for me uh, because i know what uh ethernet cards are going in my motherboard and what ethernet ports i have i use specific drivers but for those who don't have such kind of information about motherboards they can use uh what you can say a trial and hit method so we can going to do this let's change the wallpaper that was this one uh, might be more clear so let's go here and let's see how to get this so basically there is a software we know uh, we know like Hackintosh Vietnam tool and there is also one of the most famous software for Hackintosh which is MultiBeast and you can use both of these softwares to do a plenty of work on your Hackintosh. So let's start with the MultiBeast which is the easiest and most common one and if you, uh, if you go down here you get uh, about four or five different types of or you can say a lot of different types of Ethernet ports. So basically this one is for internet, this Intel Mosai Ethernet this the latest one were is the best one so basically this is one type this apple igb is second type and apple intel e is third type then a thoros e2200 is another type and then real tech so right now if you go to my text system report you can see i've been using the ethernet cards and you can relate which ethernet i should use so for my intel you can see it's i219 v2 pc express so basically the Intel version I'm using is this Intel Musa Ethernet. So I installed this one and the other one I'm using is, is Torres. It is matched by the name as well. And if you want to know which one you are using, you can just go directly on your manufacturer side. For example, my motherboard is Z270X Gaming 7. If I go here, go to the website and uh, okay, come on. I go to the specification that's uh, th this is how you see which ethernet port your motherboard have and down here in LAN you can see they named it it's a killer E25 LAN chip and it's Intel GBE LAN chip and if you go in multi beast you can see if I click here you will see the name killer E2200 ticket and the drivers Realtek 8811 this is the driver they use and if I go here it will tell me the name that is for the Intel branch software or you can just read from Intel GBE Gigabyte LAN and you can use this one. You can also use this one but that's one for the old one and you can also in the end you can do the trial and error method. So basically it's clear if you're having any latest you have to use the latest among these series and it probably work if it doesn't you can just go back and try again and then for those who don't get their thing worked by multi beast i have a plenty of plenty of different text for them which they can install because this is an application you can just install it oh that was a damaged one so you can install it by that and you can get these all different text in this app which will, i will upload in my google drive you can get that app i uh, just take it out of the app so you can see the names of different text if i go here i agree in text network ethernet and there is a Broadcom, Realtek, Intel, Atoris. So basically, multi pieces advanced than this, but you can still go with this one if you don't find any help from multi beast. And in the end, if you even tried multi beast and you didn't get that thingy working, then the final step would be 
you have to open your clever configurator okay and you have to mount your EFI partition open the EFI partition go to the EFI clever and go in the text section and here this and here if you can add that in others as well as in your desired operating system option so right now you can see if I open the 10.13 which I'm using right now I've I've thrown like many of the text in a one folder you can see Apple Intel E100 is here Taurus E2200 is here Realtek 811 is here Intel Musa Ethernet is here so you will like why I've thrown all of these here because I don't need to like struggle and select the one and the other one won't crash the system if I've placed a wrong one so the best thing is that you install all of these using multi beast and if the, if that does not work then you open the folder that I provided in the link you use the Apple Intel E1000, Torres, Intel Musai, Musai and Realtek and throw them all in your clever EFI text and then 10.13, 10.12 or 10.14 depending on your operating system and you will be good to go with your Ethernet ports. And if you still have any problem you can use the Vietnam application to see if any of the different text version works for you and you can also try to upgrade or, or use a different version of the same ethernet text i mean by that is that if you're going to use real 811 v2 then you can use v2.2.1 and if you're using intel mosai ethernet 2.1 you can use 2.3 the latest would probably work for your latest operating system i hope i have not messed up it a lot but if you have any question query please feel free to ask in the comment section below and if you have and if you want to help me make more such videos please feel free to like share and subscribe this video and the best you can do for my help is go on the patreon.com and be my patreon thanks a lot thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz